Ronald Reagan has decided that Nicaragua is a terrorist nation. And if this guy is the foreign minister of a terrorist nation, then they should get another foreign minister. Because he is a very gentle, very loving man. And everybody was totally convinced that Castro was the worst guy in the world. That all the Cuban people were going to rise up in rebellion against Fidel Castro. They had forgot that he educated their kids, gave them health care, totally transformed the society. You know, not to say that uh, Fidel Castro or Cuba are perfect. They are certainly not. My discussions with the mayor of Yaroslavl, a gentleman named Alexander Ryapkov, were very warm. He is a very, very pleasant man. In the 1980s, current Democratic presidential frontrunner Bernie Sanders was mayor of the small town of Burlington, Vermont. But during that time, he made some big trips across the Cold War divide to nations like Nicaragua, the Soviet Union, and Cuba. After each trip, he came back with reviews that mixed some criticism. The quality of your housing is not good. With plenty of praise. But we appreciate the fact that people are paying 5%. The quality of your health care, we understand, is not good. But in the United States, believe me, we have enormous problems in terms of our health care system. Health care in Nicaragua is now free. Uh, infant mortality has been greatly reduced. Also, we're extremely impressed by their public transportation system. In fact, it was the cleanest, most effective mass transit system that I've ever seen in my life. In terms of land reform, giving for the first time in their lives real land to farmers so that they can have something that they grow, nobody denies that they are making a significant progress in those areas. By the time that Somoza was ready to go out, everybody despised this guy. And after he was gone, I think what many members of the Nicaraguan establishment felt, well, we got rid of that guy, now we'll get a nicer guy in there who will also protect the interests of the rich people, but not as viciously. Well, the Sandinistas apparently did not agree with that. They really were talking about a transformation of society, giving power to the poor people, to the working people. At the time of these remarks, the Sandinista leader Sanders was referring to were branded terrorists by the Reagan administration. The Sandinista government, in my view, has more support among the Nicaraguan people, substantially more support than Ronald Reagan has among the American people. These clips were buried in the archives for decades. But recently, they have gained currency online among Sanders critics, including Democrats, who say as generally sympathetic views decades ago demonstrate a naive understanding of the world and make him vulnerable to attacks from President Trump should he win the Democratic nomination. Today, Sanders pushes back against accusations that he was duped into parroting communist propaganda. We're very opposed to the authoritarian nature of Cuba. But you know, you got, it's unfair to simply say everything is bad. He has criticized governments such as Castro's Cuba for their iron-fisted style. There's a lot of dissidents imprisoned in, in Cuba. That's right, and we condemn that. Unlike Donald Trump, let's be clear, you want to, I do not think that Kim Jong-un is a good friend. I don't trade love letters with a murdering dictator. Vladimir Putin, not a great friend of mine. But he continues to offer praise where he says it's due. You know, when Fidel Castro came into office, you know what he did? He had a massive literacy program. Is that a bad thing? Sanders maintains his models for democratic socialism lie in the prosperous democratic nations of Scandinavia, not in places like Cuba or Nicaragua. I am reminded again of what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, and I quote, this country has socialism for the rich, rugged individualism for the poor, end quote. But his opponents are unlikely to let voters forget his past remarks. Very good, thank you very much. Thank you. This has been CCTV with the mayor.